begin tonight with Black Lives Matter protests at Mount Trashmore. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandi Cummings. That event started about an hour ago. That's where we find 10 on your side's Joe Fisher with the latest details. Joe? Well, Brandy, an African-American teenager just stood in front of a very large crowd about 20 minutes ago, and he said, quote, I'm tired of the profiling. Another man's shirt read, stop killing us. Those messages, of course, directed from the Black Lives Matter protesters to law enforcement. They are obviously upset, and we want to show you some video that we just got a couple of uh, minutes ago from this protest. Several hundred people gathered here at Mount Trashmore. Many came with homemade signs and big voices. One woman's side re sign read, I am not violent with those who are nonviolent with me. They say they, they want their voice heard. Many of the speakers talked about the importance of voting, not just in presidential elections, but for local officials and school boards so that change can really take place on the community level. There is no doubt hurt among the black community, and those I spoke with today say they are open and eager for change. We are just getting uh, back down here from that protest. A lot of people gathered. Many of them are still up there. We're working to turn some of that video and some of our interviews and reaction from people up there, and we're going to have it for you coming up at 630. For now, we're live at Mount Trashmore. I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side. Joe, thank you. All day, word of more protests around Hampton Roads has spread on social media. The group Black Lives Matter 757 has been promoting unity protests in six different cities. The gatherings are supposed to get underway just before 8 this evening. We've reached out to local police departments. They tell us they're ready to respond to any issues that may come up. The departments tell us they are monitoring the situation.